Go. Here. Good girl. Hey y'all, welcome to the Magnolia State. My name's Brandon, and this is my English lab, Willow. You wanna play? It was the 4th of July celebration week in America, middle, and our family decided to load up everyone, including Willow, to go spend some time with family. So the day we left, I woke up early, got Willow out, release, and worked off a little energy before the long drive. <laughs> the grass was a little thick, so she loses sight of her ball, but using that sniffer to find it does just as good of a job at wearing her out as running around does. She got it. Good girl. I try not to run her too hard for too long. Labs are known to have joint issues later in life, so doing what I can to help limit the stress she puts on her hips and legs is something I'm always trying to balance. We'll take a break from fetch and do some quick last minute chores before we head out. Let's go. How about one more throw? One last throw before the long drive. Heel. Yes, good. Go. <laughs> Willow touch. Yeah. Our family that we visited have two very old dogs, and I was a little worried about Willow being in the house with them. They've never actually met, and truthfully, I've never had Willow spend any real time with other dogs. That little teddy bear is Rolo, and he might be in his final few weeks of life. He's very sweet, but very blind, deaf, and sick. The fur you see in that chair is Mia. She's just as old as Rolo, but hanging in there a little better. After properly introducing the dogs, I'm pretty sure Willow was able to smell how old and how sick Rolo was, because Willow was very gentle anytime Rolo came around and gave him his space. This was Rolo and Mia's territory, and I'm pretty sure Willow understood that. Here, drop it. Well, in my hand. Go get your ball. Got it. All right, you ready? One, two. Uh-oh. Yeah. I tried keeping Willow's routine on this trip as similar as her routine is at home. Yeah, yeah. And she outperformed Go. every expectation I had for her. She's adaptable, she's obedient, and we couldn't ask for a more well-behaved dog to travel with. <laughs> Like playing. All right, drop. Thank you. Ready? Go. <laughs> we rented a water slide for the kids on the fourth, and there's nothing Willow wanted to do more than join the kids on it all day long. But since I didn't feel like paying for an entire water slide, I took a few minutes to condition her with her e-collar to stay off the slide. And she never crossed the line once she knew the rules. <laughs> I got you. You're wanting to go up there, aren't you? You can go watch. But 
She definitely found a new pal in my nephew, and I think they both wore each other out every single day. Once she knew the rules, she just enjoyed watching the fun. Speaking of fun, I've worked on desensitizing Willow to fireworks since she first came home with us, and she's done a great job over the last couple of years whenever we watch fireworks with her. Here, this year we unknowingly became sandwiched between some pretty big ones. Let's stop them. So after a while, I could tell she was getting a little anxious, and I decided to walk her back to the house to watch them from a distance. That's a good girl. Here. That's a good girl. Willow did great on this trip. I was so impressed with her but it was good to get home and get back to our normal routine. Whew. It is a good day. The heat has subsided for a little while. The humidity's down and it feels good out. So we're taking advantage of it. And we've been traveling and she hadn't been out here in a little while so she's gotta make sure all the smells are right. Come on Willow. Willow, leave it. Good job, good girl. Gross, gross. Just pick up after your dog. So we're about to wrap up this walk. And after this, we gotta, I gotta go run some errands. And she's gonna be, where is she? She's gonna be tagging along with me. And I've been thinking about this lately. I've been thinking about the kind of person it takes to have a dog mostly a big dog that kind of goes around with them wherever they go responsibly and this doesn't apply to service dogs this doesn't apply to therapy dogs it doesn't apply to police dogs and canine units and stuff like that but if you're just a regular person like me who's done their very best to train their dog what kind of personality does it take for a uh, person to have a dog like that i think anybody can have a dog anybody can enjoy the company of a dog but in order to be able to have a dog that can go with you anywhere you go, it seems to me like you have to be a, a structured person, a routine-oriented person, a consistent person, because the training that it takes to get the dog to that position, to where they can do that, um, requires consistency, requires a high level of expectation, requires a high level of expectation from yourself. And then the other question that I've been thinking on is why does the person want to take their dog out with them? It again, it doesn't apply to service dogs, it doesn't apply to therapy dogs, it doesn't apply to canine dogs, military dogs. Obviously, they have a job. We should respect that job every time we see one of those dogs. But why would a person want to take a dog out? Why do I want to take a dog out? I know I want to take a dog out with me because when I was a kid, I had a golden retriever, and the golden retriever was in a pen at the back of the yard and I don't know, I didn't spend as much time as I felt like I wanted to because the yard distance and the pen made it harder. And as a kid, I didn't, I didn't know how to overcome that uh, barrier. So as an adult, when I have a dog, I know how to overcome that barrier. And that's to have her with me and train and to train her and to work with her. And I like having her around. So I'm gonna, if there's something you can put in the comments, why would somebody want a dog with them at all times? What kind of person does it take to have a dog with them at all times? And uh, do you keep your dog with you at all times? Let me know. Up. All right, you ready to go run some errands? Let's go. Is errand number one, right? Yeah. Not bad. 
Come to Mississippi. Gas is a little cheaper. Let's go. An errand number two, pick up some stuff from the local hardware store. So we're going in. So that's the thing. She's gotta know not to get out until I let her out. Okay. Well, uh, let's go. All right, we're looking for 16 by 25, 14, 16 by 25 right there. Lola's over there. She's in a down. I already picked up some other stuff, but she's doing well. Now we're over in the drill bit aisle. She's in her down over there. And I'm looking for this. Back of the truck, she did great. And you got a handful of stuff. She's gotta listen, and she did a good job. You ready to go home? Yeah, let's go home, good girl. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like watching a good girl do good things. Remember, I'm not a professional trainer. I'm just a regular guy encouraging you to spend some time with your dog and have fun doing it. We'll see you on the next one.